You ready for super contest picks? You got five of them for me? Yeah, let's go. Let's, I got five. Let's do it. We will swap them off. We're doing sna- – oh, no, not snake draft. We're just drafting. Back and forth. How's that? I will go yeah, first. sure. One after another. <laughs> one after another. There you go. Taking turns. That's the easy way to do it. All right. Number one here. I'm going to roll with the Broncos minus six at the Jags. Do I expect the Jags to look a little bit better coming back? Yes. They still have a rookie quarterback – going up against Vic Fangio, and right now they've got a steady hand at quarterback that they hadn't had in a long time in Teddy Bridgewater. I Even with Jerry Judy out for four to six weeks, whatever, with that high ankle sprain, I do think that they have got plenty of weapons. they got a running back room that is that is good, and they've got the line of scrimmage that can handle the Jags. So I think Fangio is going to be able to cover this six. I know it seems like a lot of points. I don't care. I'm going to take it because I think they win by more than a touchdown. They could win by double digits here. So I had that game written down. I scratched it off for one reason, one reason on. This looks like a sucker's bet. I, I think everybody in the world saw how good the Broncos looked and how bad the Jags looked, and everybody wants to pile on Urban. And that scares the shit out of me because I've been watching the NFL for a long time. It doesn't usually work out that way. But sometimes it does, and I hope I hope you win. I'll pull it for you on that <laughs> one because I'll probably have some money on it as well. Not one of my five. I'm going with the football team, baby. All right. That we're at home. We're not starting off 0-2. We're winning this game. Um, I think Henneke is a good quarterback. He can do what they need him to do. Um, I, I, I like everything he brings to the game. And, and yeah, I'm, I'm going to roll with the football team. Listen, this defense went up against a really, really good football team last week in the Chargers who are good at offense. You know who's not good at offense? The Giants. The Giants. The Giants aren't good at offense, Gary. They're not good. That offensive line shut down Chase Young last week. You know what happens when you take a line, you take a dog, and you don't feed him for a week? That next week, he's going to eat the shit out of everything he gets. <laughs> All right, Washington minus three. All right, I can, uh, I can roll with that. That's your Thursday night game. All right. Thursday night game. I love it. Game two for me. I'm going back to the well with the Patriots. Minus six at the Jets. It's climbed up a little bit. It was five and a half. It's up to six now. Uh, I think people are thinking correctly here. I think the Patriots are going to be pissed off that they let that game get away from them last week, and they are going to take it out on the Jets. Bill Belichick yeah, against a rookie quarterback, like this is this is a disaster. So I'm I'm all in on the Patriots minus six. I think they're going to look fantastic this week. Me as well, brother. Me as well. I'm not going to pick that one because you picked that one. I'm pick a different one. I'm going to go with my dose of Burrow. And the Cincinnati Bengals. I thought Jamar Chase couldn't catch a football. I thought he didn't have that stripe on there. And all these people wrote all his bullshit articles that weren't true. And he went up against one of the best defenses in the country. And they took that shiny football and they shoved it right down the throat. <laughs> I catch three points against the Bears. Gary, I think the Bears team is bad at football. I think they are too. I think they are too. I, I think, think the Bears are terrible. Once again, Bengals going to win this game. Bengals going to start off 2-0, and baby. Because this Bears team is not good at football. How long? They're bad at so many fundamental things. And it's not, those are not things that you can just get right the next week. They're bad at tackling. They're, if you're bad at open field tackling, you're going to struggle against this Bengals team. They are bad at blocking. That's not going to be fixed in week one. They're just, they're just bad. I, how long until the Bears have to ride Justin Fields? Don't know the answer to that. Because Andy, no Andy, Andy Dalton's Andy Dalton's A dot in uh, in that first game was putrid. Now, do I expect the Bengals defense to be the same as the Rams? No, but I, I think there's a world where this coaching staff and this front office has told the ownership, who's like a ninety something year old lady, they need to tank this year to make sure that they can set a good foundation for Fields and not throw him out there. So there, I I honestly believe. When they say Andy's, Andy's going to be the starter, I don't think this is a, a four week experiment or a six week or an eight week. I, I think this is the season. Yeah, you you might be right about that. Well, and the and the question is, is if we're five weeks in and you're one and four, then why why put Fields out there? And that's true. That's like, true. Yeah. Like why do it? Like this shit. Then just take the losses and let Andy take those. Yeah, no, that's a, you're not wrong about that. You're not wrong. All right, game three for me, going out to L.A. I'm going to take the Cowboys plus three at the Chargers. I think they are as good as the Chargers, if not better. I expect Dak to have a good game. 
you know, it, they, they got CD, they got Cooper. We already talked about this a little bit, but I, I believe that the Cowboys are going to make more plays than the Chargers. Uh, give me them boys. All right, my next pick. I'm not overreacting. A team that I didn't think was great early and another team that I think is okay, pretty good, much improved, I, I still believe those two things are true. Give me the Carolina Panthers plus three and a half at home against the Saints. I'll step in front of this freight train. I'm not scared. Listen, Damon Winston ain't never put two games together for back-to-back in the row. We are going to go head-to-head, brother. Holy shit. Go ahead and take, Give me, take Jameis. Put me on the Jameis train. I think that they have found something there. I think Sean Payton has figured out Jameis. Ever seen him play two good games in a row? Agreed. But, hey, it's, it's called gambling, brother. That's what I'm talking about. Look, if um, I, I think that the Panthers might be in trouble with Sam Darnold. I don't think he played well against the Jets last week. And if he was going to play well, I think that would have been the spot to do it. I I like the Saints team. You know, what I saw out of out of them in the first week, it might have just been a fluke, but I'm going to ride it. I'm going to ride it. Give me the Saints minus four. That is my fourth game. What, uh, what you got for number four? I'm taking the 49ers coming all the way from the West Coast to the East Coast. Listen, the Eagles aren't starting off 2 and I got to lay three and a half. That don't scare me. This defense is not going to be anything close to what Jalen Hurts saw last week. Okay? It just, it's just not going to be close. I, I believe the 49ers are one of the best teams in the NFL, and I think they're going to go out east, and I think they're going to kick the shit out of the Eagles. You, you might not be wrong about that. Does the Jason Verrett news – Move you off that at all? Nope. No. And and Mostert going out. Of course, hey, I told you. I told you about Elijah Mitchell, didn't I? Yeah, you did, yeah. 100 yards rushing. He was the backup. He's he's the rookie. I'm pissed off that Trey Sermon didn't get no touches. He was a healthy scrap. That's because Elijah Mitchell beat him out, man. Hey, I'm telling you, that Louisiana running back was was bananas last year for uh, for Billy Napier and all them. And and with the way that Louisiana has played, by the way, in college football – Mm, he might have meant a little more to him than uh, than we anticipated. But either way, that's neither here nor there. My fifth game here, I've already talked about it, but I'm going to take the Raiders plus six at the Steelers. I I like the Raiders a lot. I think they're going to be able to put up some points on the Steelers' defense. And, and I don't believe that this Steelers' offense is going to be able to do what they did to Buffalo uh, against the Raiders. I just I, – I, I don't think Pittsburgh is going to be a good football team. I think they just had a lot of things go right against the Bills on Sunday. And, you know, it just it, it looked a little flukish, which is bananas to say that, I know. But I, I do think that the Raiders are going to be able to cover this spread, and, and this feels like a football ball game, or a football, a field goal ball game either direction. So I, six points feels like too much for me. So I'm going to do something I rarely ever do. I'm going to lay a big fucking number. Are you going Cleveland Browns? Browns minus 12 and a half, <laughs> baby. Houston Texans are feeling good. The boys went home. They got themselves to the booty. They were just enjoying their winners. They lived the life of a winner for a week. Then they're going to come into Cleveland. They're going to get that ass walked. The way that the odds are set up on this, the, the computer-adjusted line is actually Browns minus 11 and a half. And it does scare me a little bit on it. Because I, I will tell you, it, teams don't normally cover those big spreads often, right? Like I know that. I, I, big... I, I, I understand that you'd be like 70% if you just bet every double-digit dog to cover. But there's still that 30% that do win. That's right. It, it's, I, I really, I'm telling you, I really looked hard at this. And, and I thought, man, I think the Browns are going to be mad I think Houston's feeling pretty good, and and this seems like the perfect spot for the Browns to win by like three touchdowns. Yep. But because we did see the Browns do it a lot last year, where they you know they put up over forty points plenty of times, and I think they could absolutely do that to this defense. Absolutely yeah. do it. So yeah, I'm 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 with you. I'm with you. I see where you're coming from, but it it scared me too much to put it on my list. So all right, so let's do our, our recap. My picks. I've got the Broncos minus six against the Jags. I got the Pats minus six against the Jets. Uh, the Cowboys plus three in L.A. against the Chargers. Saints minus four at the Panthers. And Raiders plus six at the Steelers. Chris, have you got your list in front of you? Yep. 
All right, go ahead and read it off for me. Football team minus three, Bengals plus three, Panthers plus three and a half, the uh, 49ers minus three and a half, and the Cleveland Browns minus 12 and a half. I can get down with it. I can get down with it. All right. But anybody that wanted to recap from last week, I think we talked about it at the beginning of the show, but Chris went 3-1-1 one, and one on his Super Contest picks last week. I went a magical 1-4. and four. So I'm turning this shit around this week. I'm feeling good about it. All right. Hey, you can get back. I, I like a bunch of picks. I, I hope so. I hope so. I really do. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at Chris B. Giannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.